What's up? I'm Don J, and there are a lot of things in my life I've done, like joining the military, going to college, and traveling to a different country. But there are so many things I haven't done yet. I personally believe that life is about experiencing as many things as possible, and by sharing my experiences, I hope to inspire others to do the same. This is what I like to call living life. Previously on Power. Wait, what? Hold on. Hey, who gave me this? You gave me the wrong script. You had one job. Oh, God. <clears throat> If you want to go on a new adventure or try a new experience, there are many websites that you can go on like Groupon, Facebook events, but the one I personally use was Airbnb. Now when I went to Airbnb, I opened up the app and then I typed in Atlanta because you know that's where I'm from. Then I just typed in experiences and it has like people that are offering different experiences, maybe like to go on a shooting range or hunting to, to anything. So when I was scrolling through the experiences, I came across this guy holding bees in his hand. That just immediately caught my eye. So I looked at the profile, I looked at the description, you know, most importantly, I look at the reviews, you know, make sure it's just a really good experience or something that I really wanna go to. The pictures seemed dope, the reviews were good, so I went ahead and I booked my first experience on Airbnb. All right, so right now I'm on the way to the location. Should be an interesting event. Um, it's about an hour away. So, um, yeah, let's see how this goes. The drive for me wasn't too bad. It was only about 45 minutes. The main thing though, it was raining that morning. So I was thinking that it was gonna be canceled, but I got there, my videographer was there. So I was ready for this Airbnb experience. Haha, <laughs> you get it? <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. With that said, it was time for beekeeping 101. So, um, I'm a certified beekeeper. I got my certification in March. There's four levels of beekeeper. If you want to become a beekeeper, you do not have to be certified. Anybody can do it. But because of what I want to do now, I want to get the education behind it. I have aspirations of buying about 300 beehives. It's going to take a lot of time, but if you're going to have 300 beehives, you got to have the education go behind it. They're not like a dog or a cat where you keep them in the house. They come and go as they please. And you can wake up one morning and fall up. For some people, one bee sting takes them out. Mm. Right? So if you've never been stung, you definitely have to sign this way. <laughs> Here's a video of me sticking my hand in the bee hat this morning. Check it out. What? Yeah, wow. see that I know. <laughs> oh, <there it> was. <laughs> this is a wax frame. All the frames are not like this. This is just a starter. So what's going to happen when I put the bees in there this spring, um, they won't take as long to be productive. So what is this called again? <laughs> the bottom one is the brood box. Brood box. But what is the whole thing called? Hi. Langstroth. A Langstroth. This is a Langstroth beehive. So with the lesson of learning about the bees, where they come from, and the different types of bees, it was time to put on our suits and actually meet the bees. You see the darker stuff in there? Uh -huh. That's the pollen. And you see the different colors? That's different colors of trees, plants, shrubs, whatever they're from.
I kind of didn't expect this experience to be this informative or impactful, but this really made me want to get my own honey beehive. When I was younger, I actually got stung by a bee on my neck. And whenever I heard a bee, I would put my hand on my neck to try and cover it. It's crazy to think that years later, I would be putting my hand in a bee's nest. I heard facing your fears is the fastest way to learn and grow. And I'm starting to believe that is true. As always, remember that life is worth living. Until next time, peace. <laughs>